I am literally so excited because I don't know if this is gonna be the intro. Hello! It's Raimi and today I am so excited because I am finally getting new bookshelves. I am literally so excited. So for Christmas, my husband and I went to Ikea and I picked out some bookshelves and I'm so excited. They're like tall and white and they have storage on the bottom and I am literally so excited. I cannot wait. But first things first is I have to like clear out all of my books and there is a mess on the floor that you can't see right now and I need to get that situated and there are books on my desk, books on the mantle area there's literally like books everywhere so i need to like get it situated and get these bookshelves cleared in order to build and move in the new bookshelves so that is what we are going to do first i also i'm going to be going through all of my books and purging any of the ones that i'm just not going to read because for 2024 i just want to clean clean house clear out the things that i don't need anymore pass on the books that I'm not going to read and then be like hyper selective on the books that I actually bring back into my house because there are just so many books. And while I'm so grateful that I have literally way more books than I can read at the moment, like I just need to be more selective, I guess, if that makes sense. So yeah, let's get started on clearing out these bookshelves. I'm gonna try to keep it relatively organized with like, cause I like having all of my books that I have read on one shelf and then all of my TBR books on other shelves. So I'm gonna try to keep them separate. This is gonna be a lot, but it's gonna be so much fun. And I am so excited and I can't wait to have new bookshelves that are like tall and beautiful and they're gonna be amazing. So let's get started. TBR is a little embarrassing like I felt like I read so much this year but man did I accumulate this year okay last year I was gifted this amazing edition of Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix by one of my close friends and isn't this amazing I mean Come on, it's so beautiful. Look at the end papers. Like, I'm obsessed. It's amazing. It is like such a focal point of my bookshelves. The last, but certainly not least, we have. Ah, all the toilet books. They're so beautiful.
overhead light is just too aggressive. Hold on. I literally woke up, threw some clothes on, my husband made me a coffee, and it's time to work on these shelves. <laughs> like, I am literally speechless. Like, they are so beautiful. It is insane. I just, I just feel so thankful and so blown away that I get to like display my books in such a way and I just don't even know what to say. So yeah, I wanted to show you guys my book piles really quick before we start piling them onto the bookshelf and then go through the books as I put them on because I don't just wanna throw them all back on the bookshelf without actually going through the books and like making sure they're all ones that I either want to keep because I've read them and they're amazing or I want to keep because I haven't read them but I really want to. Those are the only books that are staying. That is it. No wishy-washy, no in-between, no nothing. So we're gonna try to be pretty cutthroat with the with the book uh the book sorting, the book clearing, the book organizing, whatever you want to call it. Let me show you the book piles. First of all, can we have some commotion for the uh, for the bookshelves? Cause literally they're beautiful. Uh, here is where we have all of my books that I have read. We have the Serpent and Dove series, Dance of Thieves, Vow of Thieves, Assistant to the Villain, special edition of Dance of Thieves, Girl Fell Beneath the Sea, Hush and Veil, The Hobbit, Red Rising, Spy Family, Magnolia Parks, Legends and Lattes, Curse of the Wolf King. I'm so, I really want to get more of this series. It was so good. Uh, Night of the Witch, The X-Hex, Iron Flame, Fourth Wing. Of course, we have the Coral Prince section, Crave, Harry Potter. We have Twilight back there. <laughs> the Midnight Library, which I love. Some thrillers. Then we have like all of my romance. So we have Emily Henry Beach Read, The Fine Print. We have The Cheat Sheet by Sarah Adams, Practice Makes Perfect. Some TJR and some Rebecca Surley, which I absolutely love her. So these are all the books that I'm 99.9% .9 I'm keeping all of these. I got like crouched out. These are all the books that I have not read. This is my entire physical TBR. So we have, these are Harvard classics right here that most likely I'm not going to get to. The only one that I might read is Dante's Inferno. That's the only one that like kind of interests me, but I want to keep them because they were a gift from my dad. We have one, two, three, four, five, six piles. Way too many books. So we really need to go through these and see what to do with all of these books. And if I'm actually going to keep all of them, or if we're gonna get rid of some of them because some of them I've owned for a very long time and have not read. Some of them I am so, so, so excited to read. So we just gotta, we just gotta go through them. I think I might start with my books that I've read and books that I like, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna keep, get those on the shelf and then we'll start going through the massive pile that is my physical TBR. Oh my gosh, I literally, I've only put like seven books on, but I'm obsessed. Like, oh my gosh, I literally can't. I am literally like exploding with excitement. It looks, and I only have like seven books on there. Okay, okay, I'm gonna take a sip of coffee. great but my dilemma is should I move it to the middle because it being like a focal point of like all the books I've read 
and then having the TBR on either side. I think I want it in the middle. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Also, I am getting rid of Mr. Wrong Number by Lynn Painter. I love Lynn Painter. I love her young adult books. Her adult books are not for me. I read this one. I think I gave it a two and a half, maybe. I'd have to go back and look at Goodreads. I can't remember, but barely remember the story. Unnecessary smut for just being smutty. Not the best plot. So I think I'm gonna pass this along. Someone else might really like it and I'll either donate it or I'll put it in a free little library or something. So first uh, book out is Mr. Wrong Number by Lynn Painter. <laughs> I have my first TBR pile, so we're gonna go through these because I just wanna make sure that I'm only keeping the books that I'm super, super excited to read or they have like other sentimental reason for keeping them. This I just recently got because I thought it was so hilarious. It is a murder mystery series and it's called the Noodle Shop Mystery Series. And this is the first book in the series. It's called Death by Dumpling. And it's all about this family owned restaurant and different like things that go wrong. And it's kind of like a whodunit kind of mystery, but I just like could not handle these covers. So I'm definitely gonna be keeping this one. I wanna try this out. These two books are some of my dad's favorite books. So I will not be getting rid of these. This is my book club book for the month of, I'm not sure, but it's coming up for book club. So I'm definitely gonna hold on to this. This book I am so excited to read. It is called People of the Book by Geraldine Brooks. Next, oh my gosh, I cannot believe that I found this at the thrift store. It's The Iron Trial by Holly Black and Cassandra Clare. Yes, you heard that right. They wrote a book together and it's a little young adult uh, series and it sounds so good. And I found this at the thrift store for like 50 cents and I am literally so excited to read this. I just bought Crooked Kingdom, so I'm not getting rid of that one. And then Stealing Infinity by Allison Noel. This one sounds super interesting. It's about time travel. So far, minus two, keeping the rest. Let's go get another pile. I found Circe the other day at the thrift store. I love Greek mythology, so I was so excited to find this at the thrift for a dollar. I also found the Hawthorne Legacy at the thrift store for $2 and definitely holding on to this one. Definitely a keep. I have the Mouse 1 and Mouse 2. This is one that I'm not 100% sure. I started this book. I literally got to page 8, so not very far into it. It is 2 years, 8 months, and 28 nights by... Salman Rushdie. I can never say his name right. Every time I say his name, people in the comments correct me, so I apologize. It sounds interesting because I, I believe it's like magical realism. Oh, it is signed. Does that mean I should keep it? I genuinely don't know if I'm going to ever read it, but I know that this person is a pretty polarizing author, so it could be an interesting conversation starter. I'm gonna put it in the maybe get rid of pile, but Please vote and let me know if I should keep or get rid of that book. The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna. I'm definitely keeping this one in case I ever want to bawl my eyes out. Next is The Secret of Nim, keeping one of my favorite movies as a kid. Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn. I've heard that this is absolutely freaking amazing. The likelihood of me ever reading this book is so slim. I literally found this at the thrift store. It is a full color edition of House of Leaves by Mark Z. Danielski. Danielski. 
that. This book is super iconic for being just completely unhinged. It's a horror book, which I don't really ever read, nor do I have the desire to read. Here are some of the pages inside of this book. Like, very interesting. I am a scaredy cat, and I think I'm going to pass this along to someone who is actually going to truly love and enjoy this book. We're making our way through. Okay, so we have Daisy Hates, Magnolia Parks, so of course, those are keeps. Okay, so this is where we get into the romances that I bought like forever ago and I have no idea what about what to do about them because I have not read them. We have The Spanish Love Deception. I've heard so many mixed things, but I think I'm gonna keep it. The Unhoneymooners by Christina Lauren. I think I will keep this and potentially read it via audiobook. November 9 by Colleen Hoover. I don't have a strong desire to read a lot of Colleen Hoover. I read Verity. That was a lot. I also read Confess for Book Club and that was actually surprisingly good, but I'm not really wanting to get into like the whole it ends with us and like all of that. So I might pass this along. It happened one summer. I actually got this at the thrift store and I'm really excited to read a Tessa Bailey book. People we meet on vacation by Emily Henry. Haven't read it, but I want to keep it. The Hotel Nantucket, just found this at the thrift store for a dollar. Want to keep this for sure. Seven days in June. I found this in a free little library and it sounds so good. So I really want to keep this one. Okay, I think we should do a little bit of organizing before I go grab another pile. So let's do that really quick. Okay, let's get some more books. Icebreaker, probably gonna read in January. Keep. The Very Secret Society of Irregular Witches. I'm so excited to read this. I didn't read it in October, but I feel like this is maybe one that I could read anytime. Love in other words, haven't read it, really need to. Touching Spirit Bear, I really wanna read this. It's one of my sister's favorite books, so I wanna make sure to read it. This is an ARC copy of Once Upon a Broken Heart. I actually got this in a free little library and I am obsessed with it. I have not read the series, but I very much wanna keep this book. We have two copies of the Atlas Six. We have the original self-published copy and we have the new published copy. Found this one at the thrift store, bought this one literally forever ago and have not gotten rid of it. So I really wanna try this series. Let's go get some more. Oh my gosh. Big pile. The Elf Tanglement. My friend just gifted this to me. It sounds so good. The Goldfinch by Donna Tart. This is one of my friend's like favorite books of all time. Also look at the floppiness. I mean, that's some rough flop. So I definitely want to keep this to read because I like reading my friends and family's favorite books because I don't know, it gives us something to talk about. And it's, I don't know, I think it's fun. Uh, Priory of the Orange Tree, definitely a keep. I just bought this. Fairy Tale by Stephen King, absolutely yes, keep. Morgan by Mary E. Pearson. This is a novella that kind of goes in between the Kiss of Deception series and Dance of Thieves and Vow of Thieves. So I really need to read the Kiss of Deception and then I can read Morgan and I'm just obsessed. It is literally the most beautiful book. We have book one through three in the Cassandra Clare Shadowhunters Immortal Instruments series. I found these at the thrift store. I definitely want to keep these. Assassin's Blade, Throne of Glass, definitely a keep. Last but certainly not least, we have this little stack of books. So we have Fallen by Lauren Kate. This actually sounds really good, very dramatic. So I wanna keep that. We have The Golden Sun by Pierce Brown, which is the second book in the Red Rising series. Really wanna read that. Shadow and Bone, not gonna lie. I don't know if I wanna read this. I'm gonna finish Crooked Kingdom. I didn't really love Six of Crows. This is going into the potentially get rid of pile just because I wanna pass it along to someone who's really gonna enjoy it. And I don't know if that's me, so. Yeah, I think we're gonna pass that one along. Kingdom of the Wicked by Carrie Maniscal Maniscalco. I'm really excited to read this. And we also have Light Lark by Alex Astor. Not like super motivated to read this, but I am excited to eventually.
are done for now. I have like little rocks as bookends and I added like my candle back in and I actually recently got this book stand from Ikea and I thought it was so cute. So wanted to add that to the show. Thank you guys so much for watching. It was absolutely so much fun. I had so much fun putting the bookshelves together with my husband and getting to do a complete upgrade of my bookshelves. I am just over the moon excited and so thankful. And yeah, I just hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Happy reading, bye.